642 on daybreak and this morning we are celebrating a popular park in western New York, the Griffiths Sculpture Park in Cattaraugus County. And daybreak's Kevin O'Neill joins us this morning with more on uh, what the park, y you get to go play in these places. Uh, isn't and it then great? Put it on TV and get paid for <laughs> I'm it. I'm getting paid. I mean, it's another tough day in the office, right? But my office is celebrating Western New York and going to the fun spots. And again, for Erie County folk and for everywhere, if you're on your way to Ellicottville or the Cat County Fair, which is going on, uh, you know, pull out the road a little bit and enjoy some time at the Griffith Sculpture Park. Take a look. Larry Griffiths Jr. was already a renowned sculptor when he had a vision to create something on a scale that's never been done in the United States. Western New York is decorated with his works. Heck, we even have an original Griffiths right outside our main doors at Channel 2. It was after a stay in Italy, Larry got a grand idea. His granddaughter Neela explains. He wanted to create something that would allow people in this area and in Western New York and surrounding areas the opportunity to explore and experience those similar experiences that his children had at sculpt outdoor sculpture parks within Europe. Yep, it's older than Art Park and twice as large. Nearly 300 sculptures are at the Griffiths Sculpture Park and 10 miles of hiking trails. Of course, along those trails, you'll run into some pleasant surprises along the way. Why decide between enjoying art or a lovely walk when you can do both here? The best plan? Is to come, pack a wonderful picnic, put it on your backpack, hike, explore, sit down and enjoy a grassy knoll somewhere within the 450 acres, enjoy lunch and uh, head out and continue to enjoy along the way all of the sculptures that we offer there. Yeah, I think a sunscreen and bug spray, good things to pack away too. Uh, there are two sections to the park, so downloading or picking up a map is advisable. Heck, you could even do a drive-by next time you're heading to Ellicottville. On Route 219, just follow the signs to Roar Road and then be amazed by the towering sculptures you'll see from the road. And the Mill Valley site has more hiking trails, and that's where the 10th annual Summer Festival is, Sunday, August 20th. Great bands? Art activities for the kids, food, beer, etc. Proceeds go to maintaining the property. Yeah, Larry Griffiths used to mow the meadows himself, and the property still looks amazing thanks to a lot of hard work. It's open every day from May to October. The website is GriffithsSculpturePark.org. Here I am with all my friends. Uh, the, the granddaughter, by the way, is Neela Griffiths Lampman. She's the executive director of the Ashford Hollow Foundation, which is maintaining the property. The summer fest is to, or the summer you know event is two weeks from Saturday. Um, and again, the website is GriffithsSculpturePark.org. It's really good, and yeah, no matter what season you go, it's beautiful. Yeah, and wandering through and just discovering things. It's really cool. Not right. a lot of places where you can climb on the art. That's true. Display. Yeah, That's good point. True. One of them. Mm -hmm. Don't try to do that at AKG. <laughs> I know from experience. <laughs>